Hello, NASIS PCD 2020. Uh, first of all, thank you to all the organizers who put this together. I know that it's a big job and I really appreciate PCD every year, so thank you so much. Um, my name is Jamie Robertson. I make maps for the Adventure Cycling Association, as well as Karen Cartographics. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about custom scripts and shortcuts for Adobe Illustrator to uh, enhance productivity for text selection because we know how important text is on our maps. So back in 2017, NASIS Montreal, I gave a presentation about this uh, project and this URL here will get you to that um, and you can view the old presentation and uh, as well as links to the, to the code repository for this project. Um, notably, for 2020, I have added a couple installation videos uh, for Illustrator 2020, so you can get it up and running on Mac and Windows. All right, so uh, without further ado, we're going to hop into Illustrator here and give it a go. Um, so in Illustrator, there are you can fire off custom scripts from the file scripts menu if they happen to be put in a certain location. Um, but this project uses uh, shortcuts. So when you see Windows pop up in this presentation, that's what I'm doing. I'm firing these scripts off from the keyboard shortcuts. And this is a uh, cheat sheet that is part of this project too to show you what these uh, key combinations for these scripts are and how to fire them. So that's, that's in there too. All right, so the other uh, document in this uh, project is this test document and it's basically just a test bed for these scripts to see if they're working. Um, so back in 2017 a lot of the talk was about paths and other scripts so you can watch the 2017 video about that but you know there's a, some scripts in there to fix arcs, to flip arcs, um, to add stroke weight with the keyboard and so forth so you can check that out if you'd like. But today, we're going to focus specifically on the new additions for text selection. So, um, here we're going to zoom in on this one and talk about text um, selection. Uh, Illustrator has some l pretty limited uh, ability to select text based on different attributes. Um, one other way that you can do that is if you happen to use um, an extension called Map Publisher, there are a couple hidden attribute fields that you can show and then use to select objects based on these because they're dynamic they change as you as the objects themselves change um, the font size and font family uh, attributes notably you can use to select so there's that but this uh, this script that we're going to be talking about today sort of takes that to the next level so I'm going to go ahead and fire this script off with the T command um, and here it is so what this does is it allows you to select text by font size and then replace those objects by font size as well as font family and style. Um, so to get going, let's search for text objects in this document between 9.1 and 9.9 .9 points. So we should select a couple objects here. Okay, we selected three. So we selected this 9.7 point, 9.2, and then this one, whatever that happened to be. All right, let's run it again. So let's search for 9.1, um, 9.9, .9, and this time we can replace all these objects with 11 point text. So you can imagine if you have thousands or hundreds of uh, text objects across your map and you want to set them all the same, this is super useful. And I've used this on big maps with hundreds and hundreds of text documents. Um, so let's see what it does. Okay, so as you can see, we've replaced these and now these are all set to 11 point text. So that's super useful. Um, let's run it again. Um, you can search, you can uncheck this and just search for a font family. So for example, we can search for Myriad Pro Italic. So we should select just this one object that's Myriad Pro Italic. And there we go. Um, let's run it again. And you can use a combination too. So uh, this one's a little bit trivial, but let's say between 9.9 .9 and 10 points. And we also want to select Myriad Pro 
italic and let's reset it to 11. So lots of different functionality you can do here to really fine tune what you're searching for and how to replace it. So we selected just this by font size and family and style and we replaced it with 11 point text. So uh, pretty powerful script to just manage the text across your document. All right, um, let's zoom down here and talk about a couple of the other ones. These, these next two were covered in 2017, but I think they're notable, so we'll talk about, about them again. Um, Illustrator, by default, when you change the text alignment of a text block, it moves the actual text object, which is kind of annoying if you're trying to like uh, change the text alignment for labels around a point. Um, so there's some scripts that I'm going to fire here that can change the text orientation without moving the text object. So align left, align right, align center. Um, so that's super useful. Um, the other one is a batch text edit. Uh, sometimes it's easier to, instead of pulling in and out of different Illustrator text objects, it's sometimes you just want to edit the values themselves. So this is a batch text selection piece and it uh, pulls up a just a little text edit window so you can change these values to whatever you want. Um, and then hit OK and they'll update. So really quickly just edit the text objects without having to go into them. Um, that works for path text too so if you're, if, if you're finding it problematic to work with text on a path you can just use that. Okay, this next one is uh, fixes the text letting for all the selected text objects. Um, so I, same with the font sizes and styles, sometimes you'll get different lettings of your text objects across your map and it can be really problematic to try to reset those all to the same thing um, while keeping the font sizes different because sometimes you'll want to do that. So here we have 12 point with 14 point letting and 10 and 9 point letting. So we want to keep this as 10, we want to keep this as 12, but we want to reset the lettings to be the same. So this script that I'm going to run will reset the letting to the font size itself for all the text objects. So if I run it, you can see that little change, and now we have 12 with 12 point letting and 10 with 10 point letting. So just another way to, to fix those lettings with text objects across your map while having different Font, uh, different lettings for those objects. Um, this next one uh, is font size increment and what it does is it allows you to say I have all these different font sizes, um, different text sizes and I just want to make them all slightly larger but make them relatively to each relative to what they were before. Um, this is common if you were to change the scale of a map and you want to make the text objects bigger, or if you wanted to um, say, say go between web and print, uh, sometimes you'll really want to just change everything relative to what your output is going to be. Um, so here we have 15 point text and 16 point text and 10 point text, and let's say we just want to make them all 0.5 larger. So uh, we can run this and we can say 0.5 and that will just add a half point to all of those objects. So now we have 15.5, 16.5, and 10.5. So just a really good way to, to tweak your map across the whole map and, and see what those changes are going to look like with, without having to, to really dig into all the layers and edit them manually. All right, this next one is a, is a little bit obscure, uh, but hang with me because I think it's useful. Um, let's say that uh, you label this large map and it's kind of a data-driven project. Let's say you have, a, you have these big data sets with lots of attributes and you need to label these text objects um, for a big map. And you want to use different character styles for these different values. Um, so for example, let's say you've pulled some information in. Uh, in this case, say we pulled this into Illustrator with Map Publisher. Um, so we have these attributes for town, for frequency, and code. This, we're talking about radio stations here. Um, so
So what you could do is you could concatenate them together into one attribute and then use Map Publisher to label these. Um, so if you were to label them with this attribute, you'd have this crazy thing here. And this script, what you can do is you can target substrings of these text objects with regular expressions and then apply character styles to them. So for example, let's say we wanted to use this kind of a display for this text object. And let's say we have two of them, for example. Um, so the first thing, let's uh, set this character style of frequency because it's in the, in the middle. A um, little bit harder to select with the regular expressions. So let's set these uh, two objects to this frequency character style. Um, so now let's run this regular expression script and fix the town and the code of these text objects to be this new character style. So um, I'm going to run the regular expression script. Um, I know that these are new to some people, uh, so this is going to be a little bit weird. But uh, for example, a regular expression you could use would be uh, search literally for a percent sign and then any character after that. So we're searching for literally a percent sign and then any following characters. And let's apply the code character style to those text objects. So we're going to just change this and this to the code character style. So there we have, we've done it. Okay, let's run it again. And this time, let's search for the start of a string and then any characters after that and then literally a um, at sign. So these are a little contrived, but you can see the flexibility here. Um, we're searching for the start, any characters, and then end at this. And then we're going to apply the town character style to that part of the text object. So there we go. And now um, you can use the normal Illustrator find and replace to search for like a percent sign and replace it with a space. So we've replaced that and then search for the at sign and replace it again with an empty space. Okay, so um, yeah, if you, if you were to label a big map where you have a data-driven project that you're pulling into Illustrator and you need to, to really label uh, things uh, based on those attributes, this is a super useful script. Um, so that's about it. Um, I encourage you to check the repository out if you're into scripts and shortcuts uh, for Illustrator. Um, check out the 2020 videos. Um, and uh, just a little plug for another project I just started. If you happen to be into text labeling and Illustrator, um, I've launched a new project uh, to try to create a place names linear uh, feature set on Bezier lines. <laughs> so uh, you can check it out at this URL if that uh, piques your interest at all. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much, Jamie. Uh, lots of love for your talks uh, and uh, your shortcuts. Uh, one, we've got time for one question here and one from Aaron Greb. Font size uh, regarding font size increment across many sizes. Um, can we also do this with various line widths increasing each by 0 0.5 width? Um, so for the line width, increase uh, there's not a there's not a dialogue for it but that line width uh, example that I showed you can set those values in the script and apply them to multiple lines at the same time so you you can you could you could select all the lines and then increment them up with that with that path script awesome thank you um, Jamie will be uh in the slack answering other questions for y'all uh, we're going to keep things moving as quickly as possible